Hello, everyone. Hello, Ray. Shh. I am experimenting. Did you put your goggles on? Come on, let's explore. Heating and cooling things is interesting and magical. Heating changes things like magic. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, what a mess. Well, I shouldn't have played with fire and now I have none. Do you think I can use magic to turn the ashes back into paper? Hmm, let me think. I can't use heating. Heating turned my paper into ashes. See, I give up. Let's listen to a song now. Heating and cooling cause changes that we can see. Some changes can be undone, reversible or not, these changes can be Heating and cooling cause changes that we can see Some changes can be undone, reversible or not, these changes can be These changes can be For today's lesson, we are going to need hot tea, chocolate, and toast. This lesson sounds delicious. It does, but we're not going to eat this stuff. We are going to use it for science. Heating and cooling. We're going to learn about Heating and cooling. Cool and hot. Mm, let's start the lesson by using our imagination. Let's imagine we are in the desert. Oh, it's so hot. We might need some sunscreen. Mm, because of the sun. All good. This is the desert where everything heats up from the sun, which is very, very hot. Heating is raising the temperature of something. We can measure how hot or cold something is using a thermometer. Oh, like heating marshmallows over the fire? Mm. or heating clothes with clothing iron. These are great examples of heating. Wait, I forgot all about my hot tea. It's burning. I cannot drink it. Maybe, let me try putting it here. Let's try now thinking about the Arctic. Ooh, here it's really cold, the temperature is low. Let me try my hot tea and see if it's cold. It's freezing. So cooling must mean to lower the temperature? Excellent. The temperature is so low, I feel cold. I'm freezing here. That's right. Your body temperature is affected by the changes in temperature. We cannot see the effect of the change in temperature in your body ray. But we can see this change in different things around us. Are you ready to explore with me? Look at this solid chocolate. I will heat it. But first, 
Let's put our goggles on. Here you go. I will turn this on. Are you ready to see what's going to happen? Right now, the chocolate is a solid because it's keeping its shape. Yes, but can you see? It's melting and turning into a liquid and becoming like a liquid. The chocolate melted. It changed into a liquid. It took the shape of the container. Now, I will leave it to cool down in the ice. What do you think will happen now? I don't know. The chocolate bar is gone now. I can't eat it anymore. Let's wait and see. Yay! It's turning into a solid. Look, can you see? It turned back into a solid like before. This means it is a reversible change. The change is undone, not like the ashes. We could not turn the ashes back into paper, even when we cool them down with cold water. But the melted chocolate did go back to being a solid. Burning a paper is a non-reversible change. It cannot be undone. Heating chocolate is a reversible change. It can be undone. Now, let's see, Ray, if burning or heating the toast is reversible like heating chocolate. I'm going to turn this on again, and this time, I am going to put the toast here. We are going to see what is going to happen. What do you think will happen? Will it stay as it is or change color? Here you go. You can see, compared to what it was before, the one heated turned brownish and became hard. Can I change this burnt bread to what it was before? Of course I cannot. Aha, uh -huh. this is a non-reversible change because heating or cooling the toast won't change it back to the way it was, right? Cooling the toast will not change the color back to what it was before which means that change is non-reversible. Well, no problem. At least I have my chocolate bar back. Enjoy it. Bye. Bye. لمشاهدة المزيد من الحلقات زوروا سات سفن بلاس